Picture yourself in a dimly lit room, the flicker of a vintage film reel casting soft, ephemeral shadows on the walls. The year is 1961, and the air is filled with anticipation as you settle into your seat. You're about to embark on a cinematic journey like no other, guided by the enigmatic gaze of Marlon Brando and his directorial debut, One-Eyed Jacks. Your very first encounter with this timeless classic was nothing short of magical, as you were drawn into a world where the line between hero and villain blurred with every passing frame. The sun-scorched landscapes of California, the relentless pursuit of justice, and the complex characters etched in the sands of time. Perhaps it was that unforgettable standoff between Brando's Rio and Carl Malden's dad Lonworth that seared itself into your memory a moment of raw intensity that still lingers in the recesses of your mind. But as we revisit this cinematic gem, let's uncover some intriguing details that breathe life into the celluloid memories. Dive with me into the world of One-Eyed Jacks, where vendettas smoldered and loyalties were tested against a backdrop of stunning coastal scenery. Did you know that Brando, the unparalleled method actor, initially tapped Stanley Kubrick to direct the film? An unexpected choice for a western, but can you imagine the artistic alchemy that might have transpired if Kubrick had taken the reins? And here's another nugget, the film was shot in Monterey, California, a location chosen for its striking cliffs, crashing waves, and breathtaking vistas. This decision lends a unique flavor to the movie, elevating the backdrop to a character in its own right, infusing the plot with an undeniable sense of place. One-Eyed Jacks is a movie that stands the test of time, a story that transcends generations, a masterpiece that beckons us to revisit its cinematic glory. As we peel back the layers of history, let's savor the flavors of nostalgia and wonder at the choices that brought this epic to life. So, dear cinephile, what are your most cherished memories from your first encounter with One-Eyed Jacks? How did Marlon Brando's directorial debut leave its indelible mark on your cinematic heart? Share your thoughts as we traverse the forgotten byways of cinematic history and let the reels roll once more. One-Eyed Jacks, a 1961 Western film, originated as a project helmed by Stanley Kubrick but eventually directed by and starring Marlon Brando. The film tells the tale of Rio, a betrayed outlaw seeking revenge on his former partner, Dad Longworth. With its morally complex characters and a unique blend of psychological drama within the Western genre, the film stood out. Brando's portrayal of Rio and Carl Malden's portrayal of the manipulative Dad Longworth left a lasting impact. The film's distinctive style embraced the stark beauty of its coastal California locations. While it didn't attain critical acclaim during its release, One-Eyed Jacks has garnered a cult following for its bold departures from traditional Western tropes and its influence on subsequent films in the genre, making it an essential part of cinematic history. In the 1961 movie One-Eyed Jacks, a curious piece of movie history emerges. Marlon Brando's silver-trimmed saddle from this film found its way into another iconic Western, The Magnificent Seven. What's intriguing is that The Magnificent Seven was shot after One-Eyed Jacks, but was released before it. The silver-trimmed saddle was reused by bandit Chief Ali Wallach in the latter film, connecting the two classic Westerns in an unexpected way. Another notable aspect of One-Eyed Jacks is the fact that it marked the only appearance of Mexican actress Pina Pellicer in a U.S. film. Her performance in the movie left a lasting impression on viewers, despite her limited presence in Hollywood cinema. Stanley Kubrick was initially set to direct One-Eyed Jacks and had envisioned Spencer Tracy for the role of Sheriff Dad Longworth. However, Marlon Brando, whose production company already had Carl Malden on salary, insisted on keeping Malden in the film, leading to the rejection of Spencer Tracy for the role. These fascinating details shed light on the intricate history of One-Eyed Jacks and the noteworthy decisions that shaped the final product. Whether it's the unexpected saddle connection with The Magnificent Seven, Pina Pellicer's unique appearance, or the clash of vision between Kubrick and Brando, this 1961 movie continues to intrigue film enthusiasts with its behind-the-scenes stories. Marlon Brando's film One-Eyed Jacks, released in 1961, offers a fascinating glimpse into the challenges and ambitions of its iconic star. Brando, known for his dedication to his craft, went to great lengths during the production of this western. Notably, he printed nearly 250 feet of film, 
well above the industry average of 150,000. What sets this feat apart is that Brando employed the costly Vista Vision process at 50 cents per foot, significantly driving up the film's budget. Originally slated at $1.8 million, One-Eyed Jacks eventually carried a hefty price tag of $6 million due to Brando's meticulous approach. Such dedication to his vision led to a cinematic endeavor that exceeded conventional expectations. Brando's commitment extended to the editing room as well. His first cut of the film reportedly ran a staggering five hours in length. Despite the eventual 141-minute Final Cuts box office success, Brando expressed dissatisfaction, asserting that the characters in the film were portrayed as black and white rather than the nuanced, human shades he had intended. This glimpse into the production of One-Eyed Jacks illustrates Brando's unwavering dedication to his art and the price paid for his uncompromising vision. Even though the film achieved commercial success, it left Brando feeling that it fell short of his initial vision. Nevertheless, it stands as a testament to the complexities of the filmmaking process and the indomitable spirit of one of Hollywood's greatest actors. And, lastly, a touch of humor amidst the toil. During a birthday celebration for Marlon Brando on set, the crew presented him with a belt, accompanied by a card reading, Hope It Fits. A sign beneath the birthday cake humorously proclaimed, Don't Feed the Director, a reference to Brando's legendary appetite. He reportedly enjoyed at least four pieces of cake that day, proving that even the most dedicated artists can find moments of levity. In conclusion, One-Eyed Jacks is not only a classic Western, but also a testament to Marlon Brando's unwavering commitment to his craft, despite the challenges and costs involved. It's a glimpse into the complexities of filmmaking and the determination of one of Hollywood's finest actors. One-Eyed Jacks, Marlon Brando's personal favorite in 1961, Marlon Brando starred in the Western film One-Eyed Jacks, which held a special place in the actor's heart. Brando himself referred to it as one of my favorite pictures. The film, directed by Brando, tells the story of Rio, a bank robber seeking revenge against his former partner. The movie's production had its share of challenges. Filming for One-Eyed Jacks began on December 2, 1958 but the movie's completion stretched into the autumn of 1960. A lengthy production schedule was due to various factors, including script revisions, location changes, and Brando's meticulous approach to his role and direction. What set One-Eyed Jacks apart was the encouragement of improvisation on set. Paramount executives even likened it to Stanislavski in the saddle, referencing the renowned acting teacher Konstantin Stanislavski. This improvisational approach allowed the actors to bring a unique and realistic dimension to their characters, adding depth to the film. Despite the challenges and extended production, One-Eyed Jacks remains a memorable piece of cinematic history. Marlon Brando's personal affection for the film, coupled with the improvisational spirit and dedicated work behind the scenes, make it a noteworthy entry in the Western genre and a must-see for fans of the legendary actor. This is One-Eyed Jacks, where Brando's passion and improvisation met under the Western sun. As we bid adieu to the mesmerizing world of One-Eyed Jacks, we invite you to pause and reflect on the profound connection you formed with this cinematic masterpiece. Like the intricate brush strokes on a masterpiece painting, this 1961 film has left an indelible mark on the canvas of your cinematic soul. In the realm of cinema, One-Eyed Jacks is a treasure trove of emotions and storytelling, where the depths of human nature are explored with an intensity that lingers long after the credits roll. Marlon Brando's compelling performance, both in front of and behind the camera, immerses you in a tale of vengeance, redemption, and the complexities of human relationships. Perhaps you've been captivated by the breathtaking landscapes, or maybe it's the unforgettable characters that have etched themselves into your memory. Was it the twists and turns of the plot, or the rich, layered dialogues that drew you in? Now is the perfect moment to dig deep and uncover your favorite memories and thoughts about this iconic film. What resonated with you on a personal level? How has One-Eyed Jacks influenced your love for cinema or your appreciation for storytelling? Share your reflections and let your voice become a part of the ongoing legacy of this classic.
We are deeply grateful for your time and interest in sharing your thoughts on One-Eyed Jacks. Your unique perspective adds to the rich tapestry of the film's history, making it an ever-evolving work of art. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic journey, and remember, the story continues in your heart and words.